Keir Starmer has had more success today on LBC than he did in his attempt to launch his January mission the other day. He was eclipsed by Rishi Sunak. And today he was asked what he thought about Lord Mandelson's involvement with Epstein. Um, and instead he talked about Prince Andrew and the Duke of York. And he says that uh, the police should now... Uh, examine any allegations against Prince Andrew. The uh, head of Republic, that organisation which was all over the place um, at the King's coronation, Graham Smith, has said that uh, he's seen headlines uh, on this, not the detail, but frankly, whoever it is, where there are allegations, credible allegations made, and of course, they should be looked at. And he urged Metropolitan Police to open investigations into Prince Andrew and called on King Charles to take questions on the man on 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 the matter. Uh, he said that it, uh, he had reported Andrew to the police um, and accused the Met of failing to conduct a serious criminal investigation into the matter. The P, the question many people will be asking is simple. He says, if the accused were anyone else, do you believe? Uh, they wouldn't have been investigated and prosecuted. Prince Andrew, meanwhile, has strenuously denied any of the allegations and uh, millions were paid to settle a civil case out of court with uh, Virginia Giffrey with no admission of guilt after she accused him of sexually assaulting her. But he's mentioned 70 times in a thousand pages of interviews and transcripts released in America in connection with the 2015 defamation case um, brought against Maxwell for sex trafficking young girls for Epstein. And there's 170 people named. One of the people who is not named, it's very interesting, is this prime minister unnamed Prime Minister. Who on earth is that? Nobody seems to have sort of followed up any form of speculation on that one. But I think that's quite quite an interesting issue. And and and, and I think uh Keir Starmer's dodge on on this one on radio uh is well, it's it's an interesting dodge, um, but it does it doesn't excuse the fact that there are more people involved in the Epstein affair um, who are being who who are being named by the day, and some of them are people you know you you just think Stephen Hawking, what on earth, what on earth is that going on, um, and. Uh, why why would that be i i don't understand that at all um and but, but you know if you're powerful and rich it seems you can get away with things and that shouldn't be the case in a country where the law is blind should it